guys. So I just got my Shein haul in the mail this afternoon and I thought that I would share it with you. I think I got four or five outfits and some accessories and a few other items. I was basically just doing some spring summer shopping. I wasn't sure if I was gonna include this in the video um, because it's just really two items, but I did get a few more things from Temu, however you say it, which includes this pajama set, which I am so in love with. It is a green two-piece pajama set and it has um, this white tiger on it. I don't know what you call that tiger, Bengal tiger, I think. And I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it. I thought it was gonna be like just super thin and horrible and it's so gorgeous. It's silky and thick and it fits perfect. So I definitely wanna order this in all the colors. And another interesting thing that I got that I wasn't sure if it was going to work was this UV lamp. I decided to try my hand at doing gel nails on myself just as a way to save money. The last time I got my nails done, um, I just went to one of those like walk-in places and it was like $75 before tip and it was literally just them using a gel polish and a UV light. And I was just sitting there thinking, I should really try doing this myself. So this was like $8, I think, and it does work. I actually did these about a week ago. It's just like a purple white design with some little daisies on it. And I'm pretty pleased with it. So it's a soak off polish that I used, meaning that I can just keep my hands in water and I can peel it off. And I got a top coat and a base coat and then just some like different colors. I'm excited to use this um, sparkly green color soon. So this is about the third time that I've used it. I've only kept the polishes on for about two weeks. I also got some um, little dotting tools and brushes to make designs. So I'm gonna try and open these outfits in um, somewhat of an order. <laughs> a lot of the clothes that I got from Shein, I actually saw them on Temu, but there were a few things on Shein that I really, really wanted that I couldn't find on Temu. So I ended up going with a Shein order instead. So what started it all is that I wanted a jean skirt for this summer. <laughs> And I got this one. I have to iron everything, I think. But this is the jean skirt and it has like a tiered ruffle at the bottom. And I got one that had like a stretchy waistband so I wouldn't have to worry about it not fitting. And I've mentioned in another video, but I usually go for an extra large in my sizing when it comes to like the dresses and tops and stuff but I only went for a large in the skirt and that's because it's gonna sit up on my waist and my waist is a little bit smaller. At the end of this video, I will try everything on, iron everything and kind of give you a full body look of it. And I really love the look of a corset over a top. So I got this very cute floral vintage looking corset and it's really stretchy very very stretchy which is really nice <laughs> i have another corset that like laces in the front and oh my goodness <laughs> i understand why we stopped wearing corsets because i could not breathe <laughs> i was fine if i was standing up and walking around but the second i tried to sit down i was like no no <laughs> let's burn these so i'm gonna wear it with the jean skirt and to go under it I got like a mustard colored shirt. And again, I get my tops from there in an extra large. And I think the corset, yeah, corset's an extra large as well. Now I always end up getting um, the ribbed material when it comes to my t-shirts from Shein because if I just get a, like a regular one, I find that the material like just a regular cotton is see-through and thin, but the ribbed material is a lot thicker I do have a huge pet peeve when it comes to women's clothing. I find that um, like men's shirts are always like pretty standard. 
when it comes to the thickness of the material. But for some reason with women's clothes, I find that they just cut corners and they like use half the fabric and not just from like these Chinese companies, even expensive brands, I've seen them do that, just use really horrible fabrics that are really thin. I could be wrong, that might be a problem in men's fashion too, but it just seems as if women's clothes are a lot thinner. <laughs> so that's one outfit. Another outfit that I really wanted is a combination of a hot pink and a really bright orange. I've been looking for like a hot pink orange color block dress for a while, but I haven't been able to find anything that like I'm super in love with. So I decided instead I was going to kind of create my own version. So I got this really pretty, um, I guess you would call it a ribbed top as well, but it has like this wavy design in it and it's a hot pink top. It's a really nice fabric, nice and stretchy, and I'm pairing it with a pleated orange skirt. And I think that's gonna be a really pretty combination. I, I just love this color combination so, so much. I had no need to buy this, but I wanted it. It is a cardigan with these 3D daisies on it, an orange cardigan, which I think I'm gonna pair with that outfit or any outfit, <laughs> so yeah. I think that's just cute and it'll make me happy when skies are gray. <laughs> I also wanted an orange dress and I've been seeing this pattern a lot this spring already and I don't quite know what to call this pattern. It's kind of like like branches and leaves and now it says extra large but I have doubts. I have doubts that it's an extra large. And it's also like floor length and tiered. Yeah. I think it's beautiful. We'll see how it looks. Hopefully it fits. There is no stretch to it, so we'll see. I really liked just the look of this white top with the ruffled sleeves on it. So I picked that up as well. And that's another ribbed fabric and I have another dress and this one is more like cottage core it's pink with some uh, looks like red roses on it it also has a ruffle at the end so yeah I hope this one fits as well because I can't adjust the straps and there's no stretch to it so last summer i bought um, a leopard a pink leopard print tankini set for swimming from shein and i really like the top but the shorts that they sent with it um, are just too short so i bought this more like capri style of um swimming shorts and it has like this little skirt attached to it So I'll pair that with my tank top. I am pear shaped, so I always have an issue with shorts riding up. And it is so annoying when I'm swimming to have to keep pulling the shorts down when they're riding up. <laughs> I will say that Shein has such an awesome selection of like modest swimwear, which is really hard to find. And I wanted to um, try one of these too. I just bought some like spandex to go underneath my dresses, which I like to wear to keep from chafing. And this is really, really stretchy. So I think that's gonna be good too. Now I love me some bows. So I got a mustard hair bow and I also really like this baby blue one. I'm pretty sure I ordered a lime green necklace. I'll have to go back and check. Um, I guess it doesn't matter because it's broken. <laughs> this doesn't connect, so this slipped off. That's poorly designed. And then I just got some earrings and I pretty much just got all floral earrings. I really liked this um, flower design. And this is a gold and green, looks like an enamel set of earrings. It's very, very pretty. 
And I also got a gold version, which are a little bit bigger. Some pretty petals. And then I also got some orange dangling petals. Which I think, I think I ordered that to go with the orange and pink color block outfit. And that is it. So I will iron everything and try on each outfit and then just give you guys a full view.